Okay, so I am going to demonstrate <clears throat> how to amok a baby properly. Um, this is my winter amalti. It's got a fox fur here. Um, something important to note, there is a separate pocket that the baby goes in. It does not go in the hood, and you need to be very careful that your baby doesn't end up in the hood. So, there's my baby. So the first thing you want to do, if they're young, you can just lift them up over your head, but uh, she's pretty tall. So what I do is I put her legs over my shoulder like this, and then you need to balance your baby on your head. Like so. See how I'm holding on? Like this. And then you use one arm to put their feet together. You want to make sure their feet are together. And then you're going to support your baby here, sort of lean a little bit this way, so that they are balanced on your arm like this. Put the feet together with your other hand. You're going to grab the hood. This part, not this part. And then you lift. And baby goes in. You just have to keep lifting, make sure they're in the right position. And there she is. Warm and snuggly. She'd be wearing a hat, though, of course. This one's really warm. I can't wear it unless it's at least minus 20 outside. <laughs> we get really hot. Um, and then to take your baby out, you want to lift them up just a little bit so that you can reach them. Once you can touch your baby's head, that's when you know it's safe for them to come out. So I just up a little bit. Oh, she's got her arms out so I can just grab her arms. But if I couldn't, and if she was a newborn, then I would just go till I can touch her head here and then grab her shoulders. And then down across my face like this. I have my hand on her back. And then she comes out like this. A lot of practice. Before you have a baby, the Inuit suggest using um, about a five pound bag of sugar because you can't hurt a bag of sugar. <laughs> I had a lot of practice. This is my second baby, so um, now you all know how to amok a baby safely. Uh, it's not advisable to take your emoti off your shoulders like this, as I've seen some other people do and then balance your baby on your back and then try to put your emoti on over top. That's not very safe. Better if you practice. Either if you're really uncomfortable, just get someone else to help you. Um, and yeah, just follow those instructions and hopefully that will help.